What's up, YouTube? I'm finally getting around to reviewing my ROG3 phone. Yeah, look at this monster. Look at look, look at all the cracks in it. Oh, she is shattered. Look at her. Look at this thing. Would you believe me if I told you that I absolutely love this device? Oh, this thing is so awesome. And I had my doubts. I thought I was going to have buyer's remorse about this, just like I did every phone up until this one. Like, within a year of getting the device, you'd have some some buyer's remorse, a cracked screen, uh, the thing wasn't working the way that it was supposed to be. That was not the case with this device. Um, I was so happy to, to see everything that this device could do because it was just so advanced, especially for a year ago. Um, this plays all mobile games. It plays them great. I constantly have people ask me uh, how I'm getting the gameplay to look so good. Well, this is it. This is how. I got to give all the credit here where it's due. And obviously, I ran this phone through the mud. I ran it without a case for the first six months. Um, all the cracks on it, this phone was actually dropped from about six, seven feet onto concrete. Uh, the front screen also has a crack in it has not affected it whatsoever. Uh, I play games on this all day. I record videos on it. Um, you know, it is a gaming phone, so the video quality is not gonna be that great, but if you're recording in game, that's different. So that's primarily what I use this for. And it is awesome. I don't, I honestly don't think I would have a YouTube channel right now uh, if it was not for this device because it has made recording videos so quick and easy uh, I'm in the healthcare field, so the pandemic, you know, while it's given a lot of people free time to watch YouTube videos, and it's given creators more time to make YouTube content, for me it's been the opposite. Uh, just because of the work that I do, it's less time and more work all the way around. So having a device that I can quickly record videos on and post uh, to YouTube, that, that has literally saved my channel, and I'm very happy with this device. Uh, it's been a year. I don't know what else I can say about it. It's just absolutely amazing. The performance is there, plays everything uh, great. And the thing that really blew me away, and this is why I waited to do a review, um, I noticed a long time ago that mobile games destroy devices. Um, but this is supposed to be the answer to that. But the number one way mobile games destroy the devices, in my opinion, is they absolutely wreck batteries. Uh, and that was the whole selling point of this device for me was that it came with like special charging protection and there's different battery modes. I didn't know if that was all just hogwash. Um, so I figured I would test it out over the course of a year. The battery in this thing is awesome. Um, get rid of the fast charging. It'll let you slow charge it during the night, which... You know, you can also limit your battery so you're not charging it all the way to 100%. I would charge mine to 80 or 90% uh, and I would slow charge it at night. And guess what? The battery's awesome. It lasts all day. It'll probably last me for two days depending on, you know, how much gaming and what I'm doing on it. Um, so this has been one of the few devices I've ever had where I can't complain about the battery. And, and, and I it, that is just awesome to me. So... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess the only thing I would say to Asus is I would have paid another 500 for this phone if it came with a replaceable battery where you could just take the back off. But, hey, what are you going to do? Actually, my only uh, gripe with my purchase is that I didn't upgrade for the, uh, the phone option that gave more RAM. I should have done that, but, you know, I, I just... I, I didn't feel comfortable yet. This was my first ROG phone that I was getting. I didn't know what to expect. And I was like, you know what? You know, I don't feel like giving them an extra couple hundred bucks for more RAM right now. I should have done it. I should have done it. Um, you know, and now I'm starting to see that these gaming phones, they're being made with smaller hard drives um, just to make them more affordable for most gamers. For a content creator like me, though, I want that extra hard drive space. So I actually wish that I would have, you know, ordered the one uh, with more RAM. But it is what it is. You can still get these things. They are awesome. I highly recommend it if you want an amazing product that just works out of the box, works how it's supposed to. And the battery is good on it, which is very rare for electronics these days, as long as you take care of it like you're supposed to. Uh, and the phone is durable, surprisingly durable. Uh, this is mine. It's got cracks all over. You can see that. 
Um, you know, this camera is not going to have the best vid. Uh, yeah, it's not going to it's not going to have the best camera in it, obviously, because it's a gaming phone. But uh, it gets the job done. If I need to film something real quick, it works. Uh, it does have a pro mode. I'm not using that right now. This is just the, the regular camera that I'm using. But I'm pretty sure you can see all the busted ass cracks in this phone. And I'm pretty sure you can see the mileage that I've put on this thing. And I'm pretty rough on shit, guys. I, I am. I am. I mean, I, I've damn near broken a Lexus truck driving it. And those things are supposed to go forever. I am rough on stuff. And I know it. And this thing has passed my test. And I didn't think that was going to happen, I'll be honest with you guys. And I don't... <laughs> I don't want to say anything about this device as soon as I got it. I don't want I don't want to come bragging about how awesome this thing is as soon as I got it and then have it be broken like two months later or not working. No, this thing works like a charm. Doesn't matter what it looks like, and I absolutely love that. So ROG, as far as I'm concerned, they have made an amazing product and I'll stand behind it for sure. Um, you know, especially after all of this. Now, obviously, they're on to the ROG 4 or 5 now, I think. Actually, they never made a 4 because that's an unlucky number or something. I think they went straight to the 5. Somebody had some sort of complaint about that, but I don't know anything about it. All I know is the ROG 3 is tits, yo. I love this thing. It's absolutely effing amazing. And uh, I couldn't do what I do on YouTube without this thing. So, hats off to you, ROG. Yeah, this phone rocks my socks. Thank you so much. Thank you. Later, everybody.